We have a movie with a bad scientist who creates an evil monster who terrorizes the countryside. It's Frankenstein, but not the version you think. Stay tuned. Today we're going to look at the earliest known adaptation of the book Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. In 1910, uh, Edison Manufacturing Company, yes, that Edison that invented the light bulb, had a movie studio and he produced over 1,600 movies over several over a few decades. Um, one of them is this version of Frankenstein, which was thought lost until it was a copy was found in 1975. It was given to the National Archives in the United States and was restored. So what we have is a 13-minute version of a loose adaptation of the Frankenstein story. Um, these films from an historical perspective always intrigue me. Um, being the loose interpretation, we don't have the uh, lab scene that we've seen in the 1931 version with Boris Karloff or any version since then. Uh, this is actually the monsters created by a vat of chemicals. And that's the most intriguing scene in this movie is the monster coming to life. He's put in a bowl, basically the chemicals are thrown in a bowl. Uh, the doors to this room are closed. And we actually see a film of the monster coming to life. And what makes this interesting is the monster is actually a model and was put in a bowl and set on fire and filmed. And then when the film was developed and incorporated into this movie, the film was run in reverse. So you can actually see the burning monster coming back to full form. Uh, you can tell it's in reverse because the smoke in the background is going down instead of up. And that, that's one of your big clues. And the audience was real intrigued by that. Uh, but basically, we have Frankenstein, no first name. The young man is going off to university. Uh, we don't know for what, but we assume it's something in biology. And the next scene is two years later, he's discovered the secret of life and puts together his monster. But this monster comes out as evil because Frankenstein has done something evil. Uh, the evil side of Frankenstein came out, so therefore the monster is also evil. Uh, Frankenstein is horrified at his creation and leaves the university and comes back home and is welcomed as the prodigal son. Uh, he gets married and we think life is good, but the monster shows back up. A uh, couple of interesting shots there in what we assume is the living room of the, of the house where there's a mirror off to the side. So this reflection of what goes on off stage left is a interesting piece of uh, foreshadowing that comes comes about the monsters there confronts frankenstein uh, they have a disagreement frankenstein then in horror the monster in horror on frankenstein the monster in horror sees his reflection and runs away he realizes how ugly he looks so we've got that and a little bit later, um, we get to the, it's advertised in the film as the wedding night. Um, Frankenstein steps away from the bedroom and the monster comes in and wants to figure out, okay, why is this woman more important than me? Because I love my creator. That's what we're kind of given the, given to interpret in this film. Um, the, the Frankenstein, Frankenstein and his monster have this fight. The monster runs off and runs back down into the living room, back to that room with the mirror. Uh, he sees himself in the mirror again, realizing how horrific he is. The monster actually disappears, disintegrates. And his, however, his reflection still stays in the mirror for a moment. Dr. Frankenstein steps into the room, sees the reflection of the monster, and then the reflection disappears, an interesting camera technique here for 1910. And the reason given in one of the slides that describes what's going on is Frankenstein, through his love of his bride, has 
walked away from his evil side and therefore the monster had no reason to be there anymore. So this was a really short film. Um, like I said, very liberal adaptation only because there's a lot of things in the novel. I've actually read the novel and for 1917, 1918, when this novel came out, it was pretty uh, out there um, working with bodies and we see murders going on in the book. And basically, Dr. Frankenstein spends time chasing his monster, just like I'm going to go chase my dog in a second who insists on barking through this. Um, I enjoyed this. Like I said, it's always good to see history of film where ideas tend to come from. Uh, I, I would enjoy this. I would give this definitely a 7 or 8 out of 10. Uh, it's, well, it's only about 13, 14 minutes of the restored version there's frames missing and that's pretty obvious but it's a perfect example of film history i will have a link to it it is public domain because anything before 1929 film wise is in public domain so anybody can actually take this movie and recreate this version of it uh, in a few years we will have uh, frankenstein monster itself uh, the 1931 version come in the public domain, and it'll be interesting to see what happens then. This is Art. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'd appreciate it. And until then, I will see you next time.